Hey there YouTube, my name is Brian Kajaw. I'm a Google Certified Trainer, and in this video we're gonna explore intermediate level tips for Google Docs. If you haven't already, I made a previous video on a Google Docs overview for beginners. You can check that out in the description below. But let's get started with this one. So first is how to change the text color. So you highlight whatever you wanna change, and then right here, the letter A, and you can choose whatever color you like. Next is the highlight color. So that's the, the color behind it. So you highlight that. And let's actually just use the red that we just did. So we highlight that. Here's the text color. And the next one is the highlight color. So the color behind that, uh, maybe we wanna make that black. And that's how that looks, make it stand out. Or maybe you might wanna try yellow. So that is the highlight color. Next is the alignment, so making things left, middle, or right justified or aligned. So I'm gonna use the title, for example, and it's currently center aligned, but I can make it to the left, to the right, or center. Next is hyperlink, and this is pretty cool. So this is to link some text to a website or a video or whatever you want. So I'm gonna just hyperlink it to uh, Google, so you highlight it, right click, and link, www.google.com, and that's good, and then we'll hit apply, and then now in your Google Doc, if you click that link, it will link you to Google, or whatever you had it. Um, if you wanted to change that, you just click this little pencil icon, and you can edit the link. You can even change what the actual hyperlink is. Hyperlink, one, two, three, linking to Google, good. And there it is. Uh, next is how to share. So you click the big blue share button up top. Next is how to make a copy. So you go to file, make a copy, and then you can make a copy of the document and share it with a certain folder and click okay when you're done. Next is version history, this is kind of cool. So you go to file, version history, C version history. So I started this document at 156 today and I last made some edits at 206 and you can just see um, all of the edits that were made. So in case you wanted to go back to a previous version, you didn't like something that you edited, um, it keeps a record of every single thing that was changed and edited. And then to go back, you just click back and you're good. Next is print or print preview. So if you have it all set and you're like, okay, I think I wanna print this, you go down first to print preview, if you like, just to see how it will turn out. And if that looks good, you can just hit print, or you can go back here, file print. Next is word count. So if you are writing a paper and you need to hit a certain word count, you highlight. So I'm gonna do everything that I've written here tools and then word count and it will give you 30 words characters etc and you can also have display word count while typing so you can have it down here and then lastly is how to insert a table into the doc so you get a new line and you go to insert and then you hover over a table and this is neat you can choose exactly what the dimensions of the table will look like five by two six by six whatever generally two or three columns is sufficient for a google doc so you you'll probably only have a small table maybe three by three and it will insert it there and you could even adjust the lines up and down and let's say oh you know what i think i need another row you could right click and do insert row below and that's it. So I hope these intermediate level tips were helpful for you. Thanks.